Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. What I'm going to show you today is a rear brake job on my Corvette uh, Z06, the C5 Corvette. Uh, I'm going to put some new Hawk pads on the rear and a new rotor also. Uh, so, you guys should know how to jack a car up and also how to pull the wheel. So, we're not going to do that. If you don't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be doing the rest of it. The first thing is we're going to pull this caliper off, and I've already taken out the two uh, bolts. I'll show them to you here. You always want to put some blue Loctite when you put them back together. Clean it and put some blue bo blue Loctite on there. And these are uh, size. Fifteen. Those are fifteen millimeter, and then there's a flat right there that you need to hold the pin part so it doesn't spin around when you take the bolt out, and that is uh, eighteen. So a fifteen socket and an eighteen open end, and that'll get this off. Yeah, it's probably, it's uh, stuck in a little groove there, so I'll have to put the camera down and get it out. Give me a second. Okay, I got it loose a little bit, so now you can see how it comes out. Single pi single piston. There's supposed to be a uh, boot on the piston. Um, when you race the car, the boot will burn off, so most of us guys don't bother with the boot we'll just clean the piston before we put it back into the uh, cylinder of the caliper um, but uh, just in case you're wondering if this looks different than yours there's a, a black boot that goes black rubber boot that goes right right there and um, you can see a little bit left of, of mine uh, so now we're uh, since we're doing rotors we're going to take this uh, caliper bracket off too. Put the caliper up up high. You can usually just balance it up there. Uh, use your pads. The pad slides. It's a sliding caliper, sliding pad system. There. See how it's got a little like a little finger there that slides as the pad wears down. And you can see eh, it's got a little pad left, but it's kind of thin. So you can take those off. And the other one's about the same. Uh, these are Hawk HP Plus, which I like for autocross. Um, they're not, not enough for a track day, but they're good for autocross. So now I'm going to take, uh, I've got some bigger uh, bolts to come out and I'll show you those. Uh, let me get to it just a sec. Okay, these are your caliper bolts. Right there, I've got my socket on one now. It's 21 millimeter. That's the lower one and the upper one is right there. It doesn't show up very good. There. Is it on? Yeah, right there. That's the upper one. Sorry about that. Right there and the lower one. So those two are going to be very tight. You want to get your car up in the air pretty high so that you can swing your wrench. You'll need a like a 18 inch or breaker bar or something to or you can use um, like a torque wrench like that what I use sometimes. I say not to use it uh, except for torquing but I think a lot of us do use them uh, just to when we've got a tight bolt. Uh, so get those two out and we'll be uh, almost into it. Okay I busted off the lower one and I got the upper one so uh, this bracket's going to come right off. Actually, I used the torque wrench from down below, and I put my foot on it from in back of the car to break it loose. Once you break it loose, switch to a shorter um, ratchet. 
because you just you don't need the leverage. I'll give you the torque specs when these go back. Okay, so there's your bracket. And now we can get our, get our rotor off. There you go. Uh, now, I have got one viewer who asked me about a noise that his axle nut or a noise from the back of his car and a, a clink or clank or clunk and all of those could possibly be the axle nut and I told him I didn't have time to do a video on it but I'm going to show you right now here's your rear axle nut right here and they do get a little noise on it there's um, the um, the the wheel bear the uh, yeah, the wheel bearing goes on there, slides on a spline, and the spline gets rusty. And when it gets rusty, it makes a little clicking noise, or, or a louder noise. So this, this is your axle nut. You want to take that off, spin it off, and uh, I don't know what size it is. You'll have to look it up. Uh, it's a big, a big socket. Um, and then once you uh, get it off, you want to spray the other side of it to get into the splines spray it with a penetrating oil um, there's uh, well, let me see if I can get one hold hold on for a second here's one that I use once in a while it's called PB blaster PB penetrating oil uh, so you use something like that spray it around and uh, you can, if you can actually uh, take the, uh, the whole corner and kind of move it in and out a little bit on the axle, try to move the axle, try to um, get it moving on the splines, and that way it will lubricate and penetrate and clean those splines up a little bit. And then once you've done that, spin the nut back on. You'll have to go and look up the torque spec. It's... Uh, something like 160 or it could be even more than that uh, foot-pounds and uh, that should take care of that noise anyway that's a whole separate video I'm not gonna do it but this is uh, for my for my viewer who asked a question about that noise in the back so there you go hope that helps Open up your brake master cylinder. Make sure the level is down because you're going to be pushing the pistons in. You push the pistons in, the level of the brake fluid is going to come up. Take a C-clamp and take an old brake pad, one that you're getting rid of, and you're going to use that to push that piston back so that you have enough room for the thicker, new brake pads. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film this for you because, uh, you know, it's all one-handed stuff, but I'm going to describe it to you. There's your pad. You're going to use the uh, C-clamp like that, and you're just going to press it in. I I'm not even going to try to do this because it's not going to work out, but you get the picture. Press the piston back into the caliper. Okay, there it is. Push that in, you know, now maybe three quarters of an inch. I'm taking a guess at it. Uh, you can calculate it out. Um, now we're ready to start going back together. Oh, these two big caliper bracket bolts and the smaller, where'd they go? Oh, right here. Clean them up. You're going to put blue Loctite on them. So take a pick like an ice pick, a pick, and get all the old uh, locking compound out of them. You don't want to leave that in there. Okay, 
we put our rotor back on. Caliper bracket is going to go on next. Blue Loctite is going to go on these all these bolts. These go to 125 foot pound. These go to 23 foot pound. We're going to pull these sliders out and lubricate them. I've got some uh, disc brake caliper lube. That'll work. If they're damaged, replace them. If this rubber is not a good seal, this one's got a little wear but not bad, replace it. Clean these metal spring clips up with a little wire brush and then you're going to grease them because the pads have to slide in there. You can see right in there where I got the grease. There and there. Starting to lose my light here. The spring clips go in the caliper bracket just like that. There's no top or bottom or anything, they're both identical. Now I'm going to put the pads in and then the uh, caliper back on top. I use this disc brake quiet. Uh, some of your pads will have an anti-squeal uh, piece of metal in there. Even if they do, you can use this if you want to. Um, on, on one side, you make a circle, like where the piston is going to contact the backing plate of the pad. On the other side, two little dots right there. Okay. Also, put some grease on this part, the little ear in this. That's where it's going to slide. So grease those up too. Okay. Remember, we put some blue Loctite on these. They go to 23 foot-pounds. It's your sliding pin. It's been, lub it's been lubricated. We got our new pads in there. We put a dab of that orange brake squeal stuff on the other side of both of these ears here and we put a circle you can see part of it there, a circle on the piston so we have got to get our torque spec on these and I think we're done let's put the wheel back on uh, if I think of anything else I'll add comments if you have any questions put them in the comments if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up or a like, and uh, if you want more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's free. Okay, see you later guys and gals. Froggy out. If you've watched many of Froggy's videos, you always you'll, you know this was coming. Um, I've got one more thing to tell you. The first time you put your foot on the brake pedal, you are going to be moving those pistons from back in the caliper out to the rotor so your pedal is going to go to the floor don't worry about it just pump it up and the other thing I have to tell you is you've got to bed in the brakes um, what does that mean in general it means bringing up to a, a pretty hot temperature but not not over hot and you should really read the directions of the manufacturer of the brake pad as to how to brake them in uh, but generally it involves uh, half a dozen hard stops to from 60 to about zero and then if you can do it maybe a couple from 80 to about zero but not zero don't don't stop all the way and then you just um, let them cool down you are transferring pad material from the pad to the rotor and that's going to make the brake work good okay